It's hard to ignore that sexual abuse has been an issue in the church this year, and of course it has come up in the Synod as well. Last week, Archbishop Anthony Fisher of Sydney, Australia gave a powerful intervention, and he was asked about it at the press briefing afterwards. Here's what he said. I did take a long time to work out in what, what voice to address. I'd never been to a synod before. I didn't know how, how these things went in a synod. But I was very aware in my context, and I know that's true also for United States, Ireland, Canada, Chile, a number, uh, Germany, a number of countries uh, have, have faced this in the last few years. Uh, that there are a lot of young people hurting or people who were young when they were hurt uh, and that the hurt goes on. And there are others whose, whose trust has been terribly damaged. And I, I, I felt I have to, uh, the church has to speak directly to them, uh, not just about them as a phenomenon or a, a number. Uh, they're, they're real live people that, that need to hear how sorry we are how much we want to help and how determined we are to go forward as a church. And, and I, I, I'm quite convinced that is the, the, the common view amongst the bishops. I'm not peculiar in this. I just, in a sense, was giving voice to something that I think would be uh, very widespread. Um, and likewise, I think the, the laity of our church want to hear this said by the church. Uh, so... Uh, I think, again, I'm giving a voice not just to a view amongst bishops or clergy, but, but Catholics generally. Uh, and I hope young people can hear it. Uh, we really are ashamed of what has happened and uh, we want to make it right to the extent we can and we're determined to do better in the future, to make the church has to be the safest possible place for a young person not a place where they're put in danger. So that's what I hope people would hear through me uh, at time. Now, we know that it's clearly not the only issue that's coming up, but how, to, to what extent do you, Sebastian, I'll start with you, do you think that this, sex, uh, that this crisis is impacting the synod? Well, there's no question, right? They can't, they can't ignore it, uh, the bishops, because the bishops have been at the forefront of this, the whole discussion this summer about it. It's all been about bishop accountability in, in this in this latest kind of explosion of the sex abuse mm -hmm. conversation. Um, interestingly, it, it's also a topic that was in the reports of the small language groups. Mm -hmm. So multiple small language groups were saying, we can't hide from this issue, we can't just gloss over it, it can't even be something that's just, you know, we reference quickly, it has to be something substantial that we face. Mm -hmm. And I think like the testimony of, of Archbishop uh, Fisher there, which was, which was a, very powerful, it's really important to, to, to point out what he said, highlight what he said, which is he's not unique in this. Mm -hmm. There's many, many other bishops who are thinking the same thing along the same line. So mm -hmm. I think uh, by the end of the synod, we'll see uh, something substantial in the final document in terms of a, a very sincere admission that horrible mistakes were made, that trust has been broken. And I think it'll be a very sincere, humble message, a, a call to conversion, uh, a call to deeper listening to victims first, but also to the church. And then uh, tying that into how that impacts young people, because young people are not going to come to the church or listen right. to the church or have right. a dialogue right. with the church if, lost if there's no trust, right? Yeah. If there's no Yeah, Father Matthew, do you think that it's uh, even that that whole idea of listening is being impacted by the fact that we're going through this crisis? I certainly think it is. And I think that humility that you just talked mm -hmm. about is so key. You know, when, when you have someone like Archbishop Fisher standing up there, he only has a few minutes to talk and he decides above anything else, this is what I need to speak about. Um, and to do it in an open, honest, very raw way. Mm -hmm. um, it, was, it was a beautiful message to, yeah. to show that. Yeah. Um, also, you had people like um, uh, Archbishop Shakluna from Malta who got up and he spoke as well, um, who was very involved in uh, the, the situation down in Chile and right. investigating that. And so, so it's definitely a topic on everyone's mind and I think it has to be. It's kind yeah. of the elephant in the room. Um, but they're doing a good job, I would say, of, of really saying, okay, this is, this is here, we want to talk about it, it's so important, mm. but it's not the only issue. No, it's not. Um, and so these groups, I think, are balancing it well to be able to say, this is important, we want it in the document, but there are also lots of other important things to exactly. speak about. Exactly. We can't ignore it, but there are other things happening.